Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure Open Broadcaster software. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Google and type in Open Broadcaster or Open Broadcaster Download. Now I like to use Softpedia for this. So you go here and you click download and they'll have another option for download over here. Uh, it's very easy, easy setup, you know, next, 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 finish. Um, not much to it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it downloaded though. Well, uh, once it's installed, you uh, can just go like this, type it, type it in your uh, start menu, and here we are. This is what it looks like. Um, so as you can see over here, we have things called scenes, and basically these are just different. Uh, uh, different configuration setups that you've got. So I've got one for um, doing my entire screen. I've got one for doing, uh, you know, a, a game, a Kingdom Rush, and I've got another one. This is my test one that I started setting up for today. So the first thing you do here, I'll just delete that. Um, yes, and do add scene monitor. Oh, actually, monitor, okay, and add, I'm just going to do, um, what? I'm going to do monitor capture, so okay, uh, monitor one, yes, everything there looks good, okay, uh, that's good, uh, for settings, we're going to do, let's see, general, we want, yeah, we can leave that be. Uh, for encoding, we're going to want to um, unclick the use CBR and uh, click the use custom buffer size and change our quality balance to 10 and our max bit rate to 20,000, our buffer size to 20,000. Uh, we want to use the AAC codec and the bitrate 192 over here. We also want to use uh, for the audio the 44.1 uh, stereo. Okay, for the broadcast settings, you just choose a place where you want it to save to on your hard drive, or you can also change it to it's a live stream. Um, you do type in any hotkeys you want. I have F9 and F10, so the start is F9 and the end is F10. <coughs> for the video, um, I'm using my regular onboard graphics. Uh, I have it. You, you can choose which you know. You can have it be like this is monitor one, this is ninety twenty. You can have also have it be custom if you only want to be like part of the screen. This is when you're setting up like a a window kind of thing. So sometimes you have to fill around with it. Uh, Thirty frames per second, and you want to disable arrow. So when you do the whole monitor, it doesn't get all screwed because it really won't record video unless you do that right. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay, so with the audio, you're going to have to fiddle around and figure out how to do it. Do some tests. Um, you just want to have your uh, your uh, your speakers out and your microphone in. Uh, you can also use uh, regular old speakers out and headphones in if you have the right kind of headphones. Most headphones will be able to do it. Will be able to do it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see... Mm, everything there is pretty much uh, default. Advanced, CPU preset high, blah, blah, blah. this is all default also. Um, you can fill around with the noise gate here, there's real no, really no need. That'll cut out extraneous background noise, things like that. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you here, we have that. Sh should work now when I hit start streaming. Uh, yes, and there it is. It is working. Um, Actually, today you can, I can't I can't use two of these at the same time. So I'm actually using um, another program to record this uh, here. And I'm, so that's you know there's not much to it. So um, thanks for watching uh, and and bye bye. I hope you yeah I hope you like it. You know subscribe and comment. Yeah. Anyway, um, bye bye.